Hi, my name is Kendra, and I'm a media mentor with the Poudre River Public Libraries. In today's tech tip, I'm going to demonstrate how to download OverDrive to your device, set up an account, and check out ebooks and audiobooks. Let's get started. Today I am using an iPad, and I'm going to begin by opening the App Store. Once in your App Store, type in OverDrive in your search bar and search. Then select OverDrive eBooks and Audiobooks and select the download icon. If you're using an Apple device, it may ask you to enter your Apple ID and password. Once the app has completed downloading, go ahead and look for the OverDrive icon on your device. When you select it, it will open up and ask you to either sign up or sign in. Let's select sign up for a new account. Once you select sign up, it's going to ask you if you'd like to sign up with a library card, so we're going to choose that. And then it will want to know what library you're signing up with. We're going to search Poudre River in the search bar. Under Poudre River Public Library District, we can choose any of these building options. It doesn't matter which one. And now we're within the Poudre portal. We can choose our library from the drop-down menu and enter our library card number. So go ahead and make sure that Poudre River is chosen in the drop-down. Type in your library card number and select Sign In. Once you have signed in, you will arrive at your OverDrive bookshelf. We don't have any titles checked out yet, but they will show up here when we do. Using the menu in the top left corner, we can see we are on our bookshelf right now. Once you select Add a Title, it will take you to the library catalog. It's going to want you to sign in your first time, so I'm going to choose Already Have a Card, Sign In. You should only have to do this once. Go ahead and choose Poudre River from the drop-down menu and type in your library card number and select Sign In. Now you're ready to browse for titles. You can scroll through to see featured titles and recommended book lists. Or if you return to the top, you can select the magnifying glass icon to conduct a search. You can search by title, author, or subject. I'm going to enter in an author search here. Now my results will show me any titles within the collection for that author. I can view their availability. If an item is all checked out, it will say waitlist at the top, and I can put that item on hold. If it says available at the top, that means I can borrow that item right away. So I'm going to go ahead and select borrow for this item. Now it's going to give me the option to choose how long I'd like to check out the item with a maximum of 21 days. Once I've selected my time period, I can tap on borrow. Now it's going to add that book to my device, and it's going to give me a couple options. I can read now with Kindle or download an EPUB ebook. If you'd like to read it in a Kindle app, choose that option. Otherwise, choose download EPUB ebook to read the title directly in the OverDrive app, and that's what I want to do. So I'm going to select that, and that will go ahead and add that title to my bookshelf. You can see here, you can also view the due date for your item. Once it is due, it will simply return itself to the library, or you can choose to return it early. So I'm going to X out of here, choose my menu icon, and now I can return to my bookshelf. The title that I checked out has appeared here, and if I tap on it, it will open up and I can read it directly on my device in the OverDrive app can swipe to turn pages. I can use this bookmark icon if there's a page I want to be able to get back to easily, but the app will remember where I left off in the book when I exit out of it. If I single tap on the page, I'll get additional menu options up here on the right. I can choose to see an overview of the book, table of contents, and any bookmarks that I've added. Along the bottom of this menu, I have options to customize my reading experience. I can change font size, font style. I can change brightness and contrast settings. And there's some additional text alignment options here. 
along the bottom of the menu, there is a scroll bar. If I drag along here, I can choose to jump through the book to different page numbers. And when I'm done, I can choose that menu icon in the upper left corner to return to my bookshelf. If you're completed using an item, you can simply hold down on the item and a menu will appear with a return to library option. Tap on that and it will ask you, are you sure you want to return this title early? I'm sure, so I'm going to click return. And now it's going to clear that download from my device and return the title to the library so someone else can check it out. Returning to the library catalog with that add a title option, I'm going to look for an audiobook. You can see the audiobook icon on different titles. Now I'm going to select borrow here, and it will again give me the option for how long I would like to check out the item. Then it's going to give me the option to download mp3 audiobook, so I'm going to select that. Now audiobook files can be rather large, so it might take a little while for it to download. If you return to that menu in the upper left corner, you can select files to view the download progress. So you can see I'm at 028. This might take a little while. That's all right. I'm just going to return to the bookshelf and wait for it to download. Once your title has downloaded, you can simply click on the icon to open up the audiobook. Here you have the play pause button. You have options for how fast it plays. You can choose to set a timer if you'd like it to automatically turn itself off. You can choose to jump through the book 15 seconds or whole chapters at a time. And up in the upper right corner, you've got that same menu as in the ebook where you can view an overview of the book, the table of contents, and any bookmarks that you have selected. Once you're done listening, you can use that menu to return to the bookshelf. And that should get you started using OverDrive. Thank you for watching this tech tip on setting up an account with OverDrive with the Poudre River Public Libraries. For more tech tips, visit our website at poudrelibraries.org or check out our playlist on YouTube.